Hey, hey, Mike, um, when you zoom out, can you, how do you assess your series against the Suns um, and kind of what they tried to do to you? Individually or as a team? T individually. I mean, man, they did a, they did a good job on all of us, to be honest. You know, um, <clears throat> me personally, they tried to take away some of my easy looks, make it tough on me, um, and they did a really good job. Harrison Wynn, DNVR. Hey, Mike, just going up against Chris Paul in a series, how valuable do you think that's going to be for you going forward? And also, what, what do you tell you at a half-court post game? It seems like you guys had a good chat there. I mean, obviously, Chris Paul was unbelievable this series. To be on the floor with him, it was really, it was really incredible just because seeing the, the nuances of the game that he has mastered, um, it was incredible to see. And, you know, he deserves, he deserves going to, to the Western Conference Finals. They were the better team this series. And honestly, man, like just watching that dude, I, I hope he wins a championship because the way he plays the game, it's, it's something special, the way he leads that team the way that every team he goes to gets better. Um, you know, he's a true he's a true leader. So it definitely was inspiring to, to see. Brandon Cristal, KOA Denver. <clears throat> Michael, I have uh, two for you. How how much did your back bother you? Was was it noticeable and, and were you just fighting through it? And then when Nicola gets ejected, do you I know the team has to step up, but do you think, okay, I have to pick it up no matter what's bothering me? I mean, I'm not going to lie. I think that the second quarter of the first game, I tweaked it. And um, it wasn't really, you know, I was, I was, it's, it was so quick. The series happened so quick. I didn't get a lot of time to kind of uh, make sure everything was back normal. <clears throat> but um, it, it got better and better as the days went on. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't a hundred percent. I kind of was playing through a little bit of limitation, um, nothing serious, but it was, it was just a, an unfortunate timing for, for a tweak like that to happen. But, you know, it's the playoffs, so there's a lot of guys that aren't feeling 100%. Um, I really wanted to try to play through it, but I didn't feel like I was really myself um, for a couple of those games during the series. Altitude radio, or excuse me, Altitude Sports. Hey, Mike, uh, after this series, I mean, how would you uh, evaluate, I guess, what they did in terms of guarding you and what you want to improve upon. And what did you learn about yourself in this, this series and the way you had to step up? Um, I mean, they, they, they did a good job. Like I said, they made sure that I, that I didn't get a lot of easy shots. Um, and then, you know, I didn't at all times have the energy or the, um, you know, I was, I was playing through a little bit of pain, so I didn't have really the energy to try to work really hard to, to force some stuff, like I've said before, when teams play me like that, I got to sometimes impose my will and, and really try to, 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 to hunt shots a little bit, get myself in a rhythm because I know it's important for the team. There was a couple of games where I didn't really feel like I could, could, even, could even do that, um, which, was, which was unfortunate. But I mean, the credit to them, they played all of us really, really good. They, they knew how we played. Um, they were getting to my shots and they, they, played, a, they played a great series. Christos Saltas, SDNA Greece. Hey, Mike, hope you're doing well. How would you describe your season with the Nuggets and what are the takeaways of that series for you personally? I mean, it's a funny thing, man, because you, you, you get to the end of a season like this and a lot of people fixate on the loss and what, what they wish they could have, could have done. Um, for me personally, I think it's all a growing experience, a learning experience. I'm not... I'm not completely done growing, you know what I mean? Like it was, it's in these moments that I want to really be thankful for the season that I had, you know, staying healthy, nothing seriously injuring me, you know what I mean? Like I got to play basketball. There was a time in my life where a lot of people were saying I might not ever play again. And now to like look back and be like, wow, I played a full season, completely healthy. I don't think I missed a game for injury. I think I missed um, for the COVID protocol, but that's a blessing, man. So for me, us as human beings, we really look forward to the next thing. Once we get something, we want the next thing. But um, I mean, just thinking back, man, God has brought me a long way. And I feel like this was a successful season. Obviously it didn't end how I wanted it to, but 
I learned, I know what I need to get better at. It's really going to be my first fully healthy off season. And I'm really excited to, um, to come back even better. We'll go back to Katie Wingy with Altitude Sports. Mike, can you take us through uh, the yoga ejection and that interaction from your perspective and then how you guys came together and brought energy after he was off the floor? I mean, I had no idea what happened. I wasn't really watching him individually. I just kind of saw the replay. But, I mean, honestly, whatever he did, you don't want to see the MVP season end in an ejection. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, it might have been kind of – it might have been – I didn't see exactly what happened, but – I just feel like you 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 don't do that. Um, but I mean, once he went out, we just knew we just knew you know he's not going to be on the floor anymore. We got to step it up. Obviously, we didn't complete the comeback or anything. Um, we didn't get the win, but I really was proud of how dudes fought. We didn't just give in. I think when he first got ejected, we went down fourteen quick, and we could have gave up. But we fought our way, and uh, we left it on the floor tonight. They were just the better team all series, so. Paul Gant, go for it radio. Uh, Michael, congrats on the season. So according to your coach, uh, Michael Malone, he felt like if you guys would have had a healthy Jamal Murray, that you guys could have won a championship. Do you agree with him? I completely agree with him just because that's, you know, we brought guys in that we really didn't have a lot of chemistry in midseason. So we, we didn't really develop a crazy chemistry with a couple guys. And now you're asking, you know, Austin Rivers to do this and, and Aaron Gordon to do this when they, they got bought, bought in midseason. Um, Jamal, he's been here. Him and Joker have an amazing chemistry. Me and Jamal and Joker really got clicking as the, as the season went on before Jamal got hurt. So, you know, looking to the future, I feel like the sky's the limit for our team. We got the pieces of what we need. Um, but, man, we, we, we fought. You know, Austin came in from not playing, and you saw how he, how he performed – this playoffs, I don't know if we if we make it to the second round without him. Um, and then, you know, Aaron Gordon coming in, making his impact, hopefully be be my teammate for a long time, I'm hoping. So, uh, yeah. All right, Mike, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Matt Moore from the Action Network. Michael, the Suns really attacked your handle and you had some problems on offensive rebounds, being able to, to maintain the ball. Is that something that you think is something that you can work on in the offseason? Is that priority? What are your offseason priorities for getting better? They attacked my handle? What do you mean? Just in terms of taking swipes at the ball on drives and things like that. Oh, uh, <clears throat> not for sure. I mean, um, you said offensive rebounding too? I mean, no, nah, I've been a, been a good offensive rebounder all year. I don't really think that was a main issue. They uh, they got the ball for me a couple of times, but I mean, this offseason, man, it's a lot I need to work on. But at the top of my list, um, I would say just, just a lot of ball handling, you know, making sure I'm really comfortable with the ball in my hands, getting to where I need to get to. I think that'll, that'll take my game to the next level. Um, I really admire some of the some of the bigger wings who just are really really good ball handlers like KD or Paul George, Kawhi, um, Jason Tatum. So that's kind of that's kind of one area. I don't really know how you work on offensive rebounding, but uh, <laughs> I mean I appreciate the feedback. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Mike. All right, thank you, guys.